The big worry here is that Morgan, she hasn't used her phone, she hasn't used her bank account since she went missing, she hasn't contacted a single friend or family member. This is a 17-year-old who left without her computer, her car, or her phone. Her family says this is not normal and they are extremely worried. I think about her nonstop. If she's okay, if someone's feeding her, if she's being hurt, if she's alive. The last time Rebecca Davis saw her daughter was when she poked her head into the 17-year-old's bedroom as she slept. That was 11 days ago. There's something wrong. I just feel it. There's something wrong. Davis says her daughter may have missed curfew before, but this is not the same. Wherever she is, she's 17 and without her own car or money. Whoever has her right now, they have her, and it's not because of Morgan on her own. She says Morgan is a trusting person who always found the best in others. Now she fears that could be used against her. Utah County Sheriff's Office is searching for her. They're looking into coworkers, family members, and phone records. Morgan's family has been searching themselves. They've talked to her friends, teachers, neighbors, checked at the cameras at gas stations and Starbucks, even checked in homeless shelters. But Davis says it feels like her daughter has vanished. I just wish I could hug her and tell her that I'm looking for her and I'm not stopping. The family says they're going to focus their search for her around their home in Eagle Mountain and also in St. George where they have some family ties. If you have any information about Morgan or where she might be, you're asked to contact the Utah County Sheriff's Office.